Today I'm going to show you how to find a Creative Commons photo. The Creative Commons license is a license that allows students, teachers, anybody pretty much to use these types of resources uh, for free. They are copyrighted under Creative Commons, which means that you can use them for presentations. You still need to cite them, but uh, there are images that are not copyrighted under a license that doesn't allow for reuse. So what I want to hear is if I can point to creativecommons.org, that is .org. And under here it says mission, license, you can read about it, explore, looking for Creative Commons work. That's what we're doing. So we're going to go find Creative Commons licensed works. In here you can see that there are lots of options, Photopedia, Flickr, Google Images, Wikimedia, Open clip art library. So there's a lot of stuff. SoundCloud for music, YouTube videos. This is a great resource for your future uh, research. If you're looking for things you can use under a license that can be used for commercial purposes and then you can modify, adapt, or build on. So I'm going to do Google Images. Um, I'm just going to pick that. And let's say I'm looking for an image, something that talks about love. Because in my story, love comes up a lot. So I'm trying to find something that represents that, that I can probably tell some love, and I'm going to search. You notice a couple things first. Uh, you can adjust by size, the color you want, the type of picture you want, space, a photo, a clip art, an animated, um, how recent the picture is. And you want to make sure that this says labeled for reuse with modification. Um, you could also do labeled for non-commercial reuse because you're not going to be using this for commercial purposes. Uh, so you can choose either, but this means that you pretty much could use it or you could edit. Um, more tools just gives you all sizes. You don't really care about that. But let's say I found a picture and, oh, this is perfect. Somebody holding a heart in their hand. This is a topic that really comes up in my story. I want to use this picture. This is something I'd like to have. So what you can do is you can click View Image, and an image will pop up. And there's a couple things you can do. You can save the picture, copy the picture, uh, so you can use it. But what we want to do for the purposes of this is we want to click Properties. And what happens is when we look up the properties of an image, it tells us the type of image it is, the URL it came from, so it's Wikipedia Commons, um, and it tells you what it's called. I actually want to go back, find this image again, and I want to make sure I visit the page because now I need to find it. So when I visit the page, this is the page it came from, and you can use this file, you can email it, you can get all this information. It is used under common, um, and what happens is right here is where I can find all the stuff I need. This is the author of it, this is the source it came from, here's the date it came out. The description. It's obviously an online image and you are free to share the remix or tribute to it. Um, and what you do is now that I have this, I just create a Google tool source for this image because I'm going to use it in my project. So for this, I'm going to create a new project, MLA Junior Default. I'm going to call this theme presentation. I'm going to create my project. And voila, I have it. You'll eventually share this with me, but for now, let's go to bibliography. And you'll want to select citation type, and we can see here, anthology book, database, film, interview, journal, we are looking for a photo or image born digital. Create citation. Um, and you can do show me if you don't know how to evaluate it by really recommending doing source check for this work of visual art. Um, and if you click this, it will take you through what is a born digital image, who was created it by it, um, and you can click through and kind of see how to figure out how do I evaluate a born digital photograph, has it been manipulated, so you can check all these things. Uh, title, and this is actually our Wikipedia page that we're getting our stuff, some of our stuff from. Uh, title of image, and so on. Once you're good with that, you can click continue. And it will take you here. So here's where you want to put the information really that you want to find the name of the website, who published it, the date that it was published, who's the artist, what's the name of the photograph, 
So we can go through and if we flip back and forth, I can figure out pretty much a lot of this stuff from here. Um, I can tell you for sure that the name of the website is Wikimedia Commons. Okay, so here's my website. I want to copy it and I'm going to go to the website. I want to put Wikimedia Commons. And the publisher of my site, now there's a way to find out easily it's the copyright symbol that lets you know that at the top and sometimes you find it at the bottom. So this is the publisher of this site, April 12, 2013. It looks like a Wikimedia project. So Wikimedia seems to be the publisher of my site. And the date that was this was published looks like 30th January 2007. So I want to put in I'm not going to ask for a couple of things. You do not need the URL, okay? This is only if you want to get back to it. It's going to ask to be artist. So let's see. Is this going to be artist? I'm not going to a picture. Um, it does. Louise Stacker from Sydney, Australia. I'm going to copy her. And first name is Louise. Last name is Zaka. It's the type of image. It doesn't look like it's a photograph. It looks like it's a image. Maybe, nope, it is a photograph. I was wrong. So it is a photograph. And the title of the image, My Heart in Your Hands, is the source. But what is its title? Love Heart. Love Heart. Love Heart. And I think I filled all the information I needed to where I got it from, the date, who did it. Name of it. I'm going to click submit, and now here is my citation for this picture. And I will do this for every picture I use. And um, like I said, you can always go to the Creative Commons website, get these pictures. So when I did it, I went to CreativeCommons.org, and if I wanted to get something from Flickr, it would be a little different process than this one uh, for the kind of picture I'm looking for, so love for us to use one from Twitter, and this is all under Creative Commons if you do have free free uses uh, in your presentation. If you have any questions,